Well, we are at the Church of the Nativity, and uh, our amazing tour guide today is George. And uh, George, from right now, it's yours. So, you remember the story of the birth? I already explained it. Yeah? So, after Jesus Christ was born here in Bethlehem, Queen Helene and her son, Emperor Constantine, they came to the Holy Land in 326 from Rome after they adopted the Christianity. And they built in the Holy Land three main churches. The second church, it was the Church of the Nativity. And it was built exactly above from the cave where Jesus Christ was born. The church was small, as you can Inside the church, if you look there, 36 columns, one entrance to the church, and one small entrance to the cave. But for sure the entrance was bigger, not like today. Later, I'll explain you why it's small. They finished the church after seven years, in 333. But unfortunately, this church was destroyed. By whom? By the Samaritans in 529. But why is it? You don't know. No because they didn't want to pay a lot of taxes for the Roman Empire. It's easy. We don't want to pay. We destroy it. And also they destroyed many churches for the Christians. But after 10 years, in 539, new emperor came to the Holy Land. And by an order from the Patriarch of Jerusalem, he rebuilt the church. But how? Much bigger than the first one and as cross shape. You can see it because of the restoration. I'm sorry. You see, you will see it later after a year from now. Yeah. Uh, let's so, say two years come again and you will see it. Yeah, that yeah. for sure. <laughs> so what he did inside the new church? Now we are inside the second church and not the first one. He opened new entrance, new exit from the cave. He also add more twelve columns inside the church. Thirty-six from the first, twelve from the second. It's mean. 48 columns now inside the church. Also, he opened three big entrances to the church. And the last thing what he did, he raised the floor. If you look at the floor, this is not the original. But why he raised the floor? Because on the first floor, it was a lot of crosses and many Christian signs. And cross for the Christians, it's holy, we can't open it. Because of that, the Patriarch of Jerusalem, he told him, make sure when you want to rebuild the church, to do something for the floor. So what he did? Here is the floor, 70 to 75 centimeters in some places. After that, in 614, the Persians army came from the east. The Persians army, when they came to the Holy Land, they destroyed everything for the Christians. All the churches, all the monasteries, except one church in the Holy Land. It wasn't destroyed. It was this church. But why? You know the reason why? No answers? I'll tell you why. Because when the Persian army came here, they saw on the top of the main facade from outside a big portrait from Mosai for the three wise men. Three kings, three magi who came from the east following the storm. And those wise men, their clothes were like Persians. When the Persian army saw them, they thought they are Persians. They gave them respect and they went back, which is good for the church. So it means in the Holy Land, it's the oldest church, this one, the Nativity Church. After that, in 638, the Islamic period started here. The Muslims conquered the land, and their leader, the Caliph or Khalifa, Omar bin al-Khattab. You know what's mean Khalifa? Khalifa is mean the leader after Prophet Muhammad for the Muslims. Khalifa Omar bin al-Khattab, he prayed inside the church as a Muslim. But why? Because he said, for me as a Muslim, I believe in Jesus as a prophet, as I believe in Muhammad as a prophet also. So he gave respect for Prophet Jesus and he prayed inside the church. And also, all the Muslims, they gave respect for Prophet Jesus and they prayed for 200 years inside the church. And after 200 years, they left the church and they built their own mosque in front of the church. And they named it Omar bin al-Khattab Mosque. And during the 12th century, the Crusaders came from Europe. The Crusaders, they were Christians. So what they did to protect the church more and more, First, you remember what I told you about Emperor Justinian? He opened three big entrances. But the Crusaders, they closed two, and the one in the middle, they made it a little bit lower. But still not small like today, it was bigger also. And also they built a fortress near the church to protect the church from any attack. And during the 15th century, in the year 1500, they made the main entrance at today very small. 130 centimeters, why 74 centimeters? Because of two reasons. The first reason, because it's the most holy place for the Christians. Before we enter, we should humble. And the second reason, to prevent the church from the animals. Animals, what they did inside the holy place here. Because 
In that time, the main market of Bethlehem was exactly in front of the church. And many of the local people, they entered inside the church with their horses and camels to rest and to hide from the sun. And they did the bad smell. And we call it the door of humility. So the church now is divided for three parts, three denominations. Greek Orthodox, Armenian, and Catholic. And where we are now, it's the main part of the church. And it's belonged to the Greek Orthodox. The Greek Orthodox, they took the main part during the 15th century because they did the last restoration inside the church. It was by order from the Turkish Sultan. Sultan, he's the king for the Turkish in that time. The Ottoman period actually started here in 1517 until 1917. They occupied the land for 400 years. Later, I'll show you the Armenian part and then the Catholic part. So, now here, what you can see. First, behind you over there, you will see the old floor from the first church, 326. On the walls, right side and left side, you can see mosaic from the 12th century, Crusader's time. It's all gold plated. And also the columns over there, or they had it all. I don't know why. Yeah, but the, yeah. You can see one column there. Yeah. And <clears throat> on each column, it's painting Saint, King, or Caesar. Not just Saints. Why also Kings and Caesars? Because the Christians, Kings and Caesars, they used to come to the Holy Land during that time to support the Christians and to protect them. Like King of Armenia, his name is King Khitun, or in English, King Hethom. He came to the Holy Land during the 12th century and he brought this entrance as a gift for the church. This word is Cyprus. And also King of Austria, 18th century, the Russian Caesar, Alexander II, 19th century also. So you have three things to see here. The old floor, the mosaic on the wall, and the column also. Take pictures for a few minutes and let's go to that part. <laughs> 